Hey everybody, this is Betsy Veldman from Paper Tray Inc. and I am here today to introduce the brand new Make It Market Nostalgic Notions Kit. This kit will be available for purchase beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on June 1st from the Paper Tray Inc. website. So let me show you a little bit about what's included in the kit and how some of the elements work together. So first of all, let's take a look at the stamps. There are a lot of stamps included in this kit. There is a full uh, two-sheet stamp set, which includes lots of fun elements. There's several different multi-step florals. There is a large scalloped polka dot frame. There is also a pretty scalloped border, um, several different sentiments, and as well also this large kind of graphic corner element, which is all really re reminiscent of uh, elements from things from the 1940s and that era. And then there is also another little $5 mini stamp set, and this set coordinates with some of the button dies that are included in the kit, which I will show you in a little bit. But there are several different elements where you can stamp on the die cut buttons to embellish them, and there are also a couple other little fun elements thrown in this mini set as well. Some um, smaller version of that that fun corner element, and then also a fun sentiment which is very uh, fitting for that era as well. So next I wanted to show you the dies that are included in the kit. There is a, the scalloped border which coordinates with the stamp the uh, scallop border stamp that's in the stamp set. There is a large scalloped frame which also coordinates with that polka dot scalloped frame from the stamp set and this layers just perfectly over an A2 card base with a little bit of um, border around the edges. Then there are nine different button dies and these are very reminiscent of the buttons that were popular in that time period. And they coordinate with the stamp set that I showed you a bit ago here. And what this allows you to do is you can die cut these from cardstock and then add the floral details with the stamping. So you can add some color that way. And then there are also, of course, uh, dies to coordinate with the flower stamps and as well as that fun corner element. So next let's just take a peek at the pattern paper pack that's included in the kit. This is an A2 size pad with uh, 12 different patterns. There's three sheets of each, so there's a total of 36 sheets of pattern paper. Lots of different prints and patterns, and there are also a couple sheet of pre-printed elements which coordinate with a few of the dies from the kit. There is a sheet of borders which coordinate with that scalloped border die. All you need to do is lay the die down inside of that white outline. Just nest it right inside of there, run it through your machine, and you'll have some perfectly die cut scalloped pre-printed borders. Next I wanted to show you in a little more detail one of the sheets of pattern paper that's included in the kit, and that is the sheet of pre-printed pattern buttons. And these coordinate with the button dies in included in the kit. So I want to just show you how these work. Um, we built in a little bit of a system to help you line everything up and get perfect cuts every time. You will notice if you look very closely at your dies, the button dies, each one has a little tab guide built into the backing of the die. Now when you receive your, your dies, they will be wired together and you'll need to snip them apart with a wire cutter just like a lot of our other dies. But you'll notice like I said, a little tab on each one. And then if you look at your pattern paper, there are these gray outlines which tell you, which um, yeah, help you line up your die. You just kind of drop it right in there. And you'll need to find that little tab guide on the die and line it up with the little tab mark included on each of the outlines. And uh, this is the, the die that goes with this button. And so I'll just lay that right in there, match up that little guide tab and run it through my machine. You might need a little piece of washi tape or a post-it note to hold everything in place, but you should end up with perfectly cut buttons. And uh, you can see here I had one sheet in which I die cut those all, and this is the result. Quick and easy and fun to add to a project. If you this stack over here, you can also, of course, die cut the buttons from just plain cardstock, which I have done here. And then these were all embellished using the uh, stamp set from the kit. So there's the quick and easy option, or if you have a little more time and want to experiment with some different colors and stamping, 
you can go that route as well. Another item included in the kit are these fold and go airmail envelopes. They're super easy to assemble. There's two different sizes. There is a small size, which is perfect for like a gift card or a little enclosure card, or there's a standard A2 size as well. And there are two different styles in each size. There is a plain flap, the three of each of those, and then also a floral flap. And there's three of those in each size also. So here is the floral flap in the small version and then the plain flap as well. So let me just show you really quickly here how those get assembled. All you need to do is you need to trim away all of the excess just real quick and easy. Take a scissors and just trim that away around the outline so that you are left with just an envelope shape. And then there are some light aqua guidelines and you just need to be scoring on those guidelines and then you can go ahead and fold it up into an envelope just add a little bit of adhesive on the back side where um, that bottom flap gets folded up and adhered to the side flaps. So you can just fold those slide, side flaps in, fold that bottom flap up where I put my adhesive there, we'll just adhere onto there, and then fold that top flap down. Real simple and super cute. And last but not least, there are lots of fun little trims and embellishments also included in the kit. There are some little paper flowers, and there's four different colors, a couple shades of blue, uh, red, yellow, and here's a little bit deeper blue. Um, these would be really cute to embellish a package with or to tuck on an envelope or on, even on a card. Um, they kind of remind me of something they would have made of corsage out of back in the 40s or maybe even used to embellish a hat or who knows what. Just kind of remind me of that era. And then there are some really sweet buttons and little resin bows. There's also some paper lace which would be gorgeous to use to trim packages or even use on cards, etc. And then there are two different styles of double fold bias tape and this just reminded me of something that they maybe would have used back in the 40s. It has a cute crocheted detail to it. And the fun thing about this is since it's the double fold bias tape, it opens up. And what you can do is you can just, you know, put a little score tape along the bottom edge and slip the edge of that pattern paper or cardstock panel right inside of there and adhere that using some score tape. And it's a super fun way to trim and embellish a card and add lots of texture without a lot of bulk. Well, that wraps up this peek into the Nostalgic Notions kit. I hope you enjoyed it. You can visit my blog to see all kinds of projects using the kit. And uh, like I said at the beginning, it will be available for purchase beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on June 1st from the Paper Tray Inc. website.